Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm reacting to Germany's entry for Eurovision 2024. Germany's national selection, das deutsche Finale, took place yesterday and we have a winner. The winner is Isaac with the song Always on the Run and he won both the jury and the televote scoring a total of 24 points, which is also the maximum amount of points available. So I guess if you look at it that way, it's very fair that he won. Um, so I'm really, really excited to get into this reaction to see um, what Germany is going to be sending this year. I have already heard this song before, so um, this will not be my first time hearing the song, but it will be the first time seeing the live performance. So with not much further to add, you just get a hit with this reaction. Mm. Strong vocal right off the bat. I love the earring. I also have one in. Mm. I do like the lighting, the like blue colors. Blue is my favorite color, so. Okay. Okay. I like his voice a lot. It's a great voice. Hmm. His vocal is very strong. This song, however, feels quite basic. To me, at least, it feels very basic. It doesn't have any, like, elements that really grip me, but it's not a bad song. I just think it's quite simple. But he's really selling it with his, like, stage presence, and his vocal is really, really strong. Hmm. I do think the staging is a little bit like meh. I like the lighting and all, but it's really the only thing we have. I think we could do something more with um, the staging. But I think he really kind of like weighs up for that because he has a great stage presence. I love this shot where he's standing with the back uh, to the crowd. Hmm. It feels a little bit generic. It feels very middle of the road for me, but I do think it's a nice song. Um, Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that was my reaction to Germany's entry for Eurovision 2024. Let's just talk about it. Okay, so let's be real. The song is not inventing the real, it's not being anything unique or special that we've never heard before. It is a relatively basic song. Basic, like, it feels very basic, very middle of the road, very... Germany, something I could see like also like Denmark sending or even a lot of other countries. It seems very middle of the road and don't really have any like identity to it that really, you know, makes me think, oh, this is Germany. But with that said, I really think that he really delivers it with his voice. I think his voice is incredibly strong and I feel like his stage prison, presence uh, is really, really great. And I feel that kind of makes the song better than what I actually feel like it is. Um... Like, I think it's a quite catchy melody it has to the chorus. Uh, and I can see myself listening to this song. It's not going to be one of my absolute favorite songs of the year, but I don't think it's going to be one of my absolute, uh, like, least favorites of the year. I think it's going to be quite middle of the pack for me. Maybe slightly lower. Um, but I do think it is a, it's a fine, nice track. It just doesn't have any real depth to it. That's kind of what I'm, like, missing a little bit. But I do think that Isaac... 
as a performer did honestly everything he could with this song. I think that the staging could do with some work. I do like the lighting and all, but I think it was very like meh staging. It was really just lights and him. And I think they could do something a little bit more to make it a little bit more intimate and create more like a universe and like an atmosphere. Um, but I think they have some elements that they put together could do some great staging. So yeah, I'm kind of mixed on this one. I kind of like it, but also I feel like it's pretty safe and a very, very basic choice. Um, but yeah, I would prefer this to their entry last year, Blood and Glitter, just because I'm not a big fan of Ruggie-ish songs. I actually prefer Isaac's song to last year. Um, so let's see if they'll do better than they did last year. But uh, this is quite just what I think. What do you think about Germany's entry for Eurovision 2024? Please let me know down in the comments below. And as always, you should have a blast until I see you next time. Bye-bye.